Hi, what I've got here is just a simple little demonstration just to show you how you can take a Linux based operating system and give it the look and feel of Windows XP. Uh, we're going to use uh, just the stable Debian Linux for this demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Linux is an alternative operating system similar in design to Windows or uh, the Mac operating system. Everything's point and click. Uh, you know, you've got your programs, your accessories, games, graphics, you know, internet based programs, office programs, things like that. Um, only difference is it is a uh, based on a Unix operating system so uh, similar to the Mac uh, which means it's it's highly resistant to viruses um, if you know somebody that's having serious issues with getting viruses all the time all they do is predominantly surf the web pay online bills things of that nature you know check their email you know switching them over to uh, a Linux operating system might be a good good alternative for them. It's based or uh, this. Uh, some people might be hesitant to change, so that's why using this script to change this uh, Linux look into a uh, Windows XP look can be useful. Um, you know, especially for the older folks, they are so used to using a certain style. They they like that Windows type look. Uh, this will just make it easier for them to transition over and, and use Linux and will end up making your life if you're a, their support person a lot simpler. So um, I want to show you real quick how to how to do that. Right here is the script and I'm going to go ahead and install it. I'm going to minimize this box out so that you can actually see you know what's going on in the in the background here and it's going to tell you you know to uh, watch out cause the will change your desktop to look like Windows XP go ahead and minimize that and I'll just watch how everything moves Real quickly, you can see the screen's already starting to change. Your icons are looking different. They look more like the XP icons. Taskbar is already changed. Oh, there's our background. Taskbar is now moving to the bottom. And there we go. That simple. You now have everything here. It all looks the same as your regular XP. Uh, you know, system. This is kind of like your control panel in Windows. It gives you access to all these different settings in here preferences administration places just tells you you know more or less like your Windows Explorer tells you where everything's at on your computer it's got different system tools sound and video now here it says Internet Explorer and Outlook Express these are actually changes that I made uh, this comes installed with uh, evolution uh, email that you can set up works just like Outlook Express uh, same thing the Inter Internet Explorer is not actually Internet Explorer I used a Mozilla based uh, web browser uh, and just changed it to you know give it the the look and feel of, of Internet Explorer it's not Internet Explorer but you know for those that are transitioning over from Windows you know it, it uh, 
will make them feel more at home. This is actually, uh, I believe I used Ice Weasel, which is uh, uh, very similar to Mozilla Firefox. Uh, I just did some changes to it, gave it the Internet Explorer icon, and and uh, also just changed the name on the on the start menu there to Internet Explorer and gave it the the E icon. So just to make things simpler for those that are that are transitioning over, um, the Software Center gives you choices of all kinds of software that you can install. This will save that person from trying to go on the, on the web and downloading programs but to mess with. These are all safe programs. They're all free. Uh, and you name it, they've got it. I mean, education, fonts, games, graphics, internet, you know, it's all there. Um, office programs, science and engineering, sound and video. If you do uh, sound audio work or video work, there's plenty of things there um, you know this is basically your add or remove programs here but it just there's so many options so many options this is just your standard uh, Debian Linux um, many many versions of Linux are based off of Debian uh, the popular Ubuntu is actually based off of Debian uh, so is Linux Mint uh, and, and, and countless others uh, Debian's the universal operating system, been around for a long time, and it will continue to be around for a long time. But this is how you how you transition somebody over from uh, Windows to a Linux and making it a smooth transition for them. Uh, if they can, if they can point and click a mouse, they can run Linux, and they'll have a, a happier time on their computer because they're not going to be fighting with viruses and things like that. It's not going to give them issues. The only thing that won't change will be the login and logout screen. You know, it'll leave the the login and logout screen as it was when you first saw it. It'll have these little star background and, you know, things like that, the Debian symbol, um, but uh, other than that, you know, it, it's all the traditional look and feel of, of Windows XP, so if you're looking to switch somebody over from Windows to Linux, this is definitely the way to go about it.